The sun is set behind the Coliseum. The stadium lights are on, and we have a game tonight. This is Duncan Fisher giving you the play-by-play. -play. There are a couple of Steiner up-and-comers in tonight's game, and it has drawn quite a crowd. In the last Coliseum game, there was some real tension in the stands. The Davion and Steiner supporters seemed like they were coming close to blows. But the security is tight, and all signs point to a fabulous game. The Cody, it looks weird, but at the same time it also looks right. Let's go! It's... I don't know. So, okay, another Stormcrow. Alex Head again, with his Ultra AC-20. And... The other guy? Yeah, why bother. So, the Raver Cody will loot out with the AC-10 and all the SRMs. Uh, the only problem is I wasn't able to get much engine speed on it. One of the combatants tonight is both a Merc and Solaris Jetwall. His name is Alex Haight. Oh, hi. This no-nonsense fighting machine had a sensational rookie year and followed it up by disappearing for mysterious business for two whole seasons. Everyone thought that was the last of him, but he came back and is still doing some serious damage in his fifth season. It's a no-brainer that he'll make it into the big game. It's kind of unusual, but he still fights a couple of medium matches every year. He says he's scoping the field. Alex isn't a man of many words, but he's a clever warrior. I wonder what he sees out there tonight. There's a lot of debate on which mech dominates the medium mech circuit. My money's always on the Uzio. Sure, you can put another five tons of armor and weapons on other chassis, but I just like the feel of an Uzio. It has good armor, weapons, and decent moves. So all it takes is one good shot. Another mech hits the ground. Yeah, sure, the Uzio's got plenty of armor. Just taken down by a pair of small lasers. Kapow! <laughs> well, Alex is slumming it, and he gets nailed. He was scoping out the competition, and looks like he found some. It's no big secret that I'm partial to the medium circuit. It's the circuit oh, I made a name for myself in, and I know those mechs like the back of my hand. Sometimes when I'm in the Valhalla Club, I hear some of the pros come down on the lighter circuits. I think that's just wrong. Every person that competes on any level in Solaris is a real warrior. And if you take some of those pilots out of their atlases and stick them in chimeras... <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I just, I just love that quote because of the, uh, the blooper reel. Take some of those atlas pilots out of their... Take some of those pilots out of their atlases and stick them in a chimero. But they learn a lot about humility. S stick them in a chimero. They should probably actually do that. See if anyone notices. I have no weapons! Target ah. destroyed. Okay, that's the one and only Duncan Fisher code I'm going to attempt. So, lucky um, LRM shot. As you've probably seen, when LRMs miss, they will occasionally swing back around. Spectre! He's amazing! How's that, a climactic? The Coliseum has seen some intense fighting tonight. Although those medium mechs are fast, they can pack some serious punch. It was quite a slugfest, and rookie Merc Spectre takes the victory today. He smashed through some serious opposition, and he's earned the accolades tonight. Live from the sands, it's Duncan Fisher wishing all of you a good night. So the missiles will come back and hit again, and because I'd lost all my rear armor, you know, the one that hit me in the back knocked out uh, that section of the torso. So it's crippled, but we got enough money to... Yeah, plenty of money to get it repaired. Now... Now the only two mechs I got prepared right now are Crab Cakes, and the, uh, the, the Fenris, the, alright, how the hell did I miss that? Now, there's a small problem with the Fenris, um, the loadout is supposed to be artillery beacons. I did test this, it works really damn well, if, if you're lucky. If you're unlucky, then you're pretty crippled. Now, the problem is, though, it needs artillery beacons, which are a missile weapon, it fires a small beacon that hits the ground, and then it marks it for an artillery barrage. And by barrage, I mean one massive long-tom shell. Um, now, I know exactly where they're located. They're located around the, um, the flares and the narc beacons, but it's obviously not here because we can't buy them yet because of the... Um, you know, it depends on how many weeks you play the game. So, unfortunately, we might not be seeing the artillery Fenris. If we don't, I apologize, but I'll make a follow-up video for that. And we'll get to see it in action then. So, there you go. That was the medium circuit in Solaris. Uh, let's have a look. That's the light season, I believe. Where we managed to make a name for ourselves. Spectre. Uh, the only other one before that, I believe, is the... 
the one where we were back on stick. Yeah, this is the the same news article um, when we were playing as the Honor Guard. So, obviously, not a lot has happened in this. So that so again, that was the medium circuit, uh, my favorite circuit out of all of them. And right now, we're going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to run through a whole bunch of different mech configurations. We're going to play a whole bunch of games in Solaris. Uh, hopefully, get a lot of kills. Hopefully, earn a lot of money. And uh, in order to facilitate that at the most efficient. That means, we go to montage. We have some medium mech action tonight. This is Duncan Fisher, live from Solaris. The pilots are on the field, and they look in good form. It's been a good season so far, and the mechs on the field look ready to deliver. So sit back and enjoy some action, Solaris style. That kid is on the roll down there. That last guy just got hammered. Man, Spectre has got some good eyes. He certainly keeps nailing his shots tonight. Three down, all because they've been in his crosshair. They're finding each other here. The action is that that I was so killed. Amazing. It's Spectre time. fighting for a position. One sad thing is that some of the pilot's best fights are the ones some fans least like to watch. Holes fast in their opponents. I prefer matches like these. Lots of solid performances and smart. There's the ejection pod. One less combatant on the field. Bang, bang. Get killed, they stop you. Now we're ready for action. Spectre seems to be doing pretty well, though. Drop up the middle kill.
Maverick swept the competition again and is looking in good form in his rookie season. It was a good game, and we'll go over the highlights coming up in the After Hours show, along with an exclusive interview with the controversial Bobby Killer Fields. So this is Duncan Fisher saying good night and see you later.